Oh, yeah. I gotta say, I said, I said, by song, I said, when it comes to respect, I call it a quoi. What's the deal, everybody? Welcome to the broadcast. Look at the orbit right here. Okay, so if you look at my previous video, I explained how it works as orbits. Also, we gotta say a big, big welcome to the afterlife. We've got Betty Wright, you know what I'm saying, in the afterlife. Gotta say, what's up, Mrs. Wright? You know, it's definitely going down. We got the Golden Girls. But anyway, we're gonna continue our reading. <clears throat> this will be the last reading for the collective uh, for 2021 as we end this winter solstice coming up shortly. You know what I mean? So let me uh, shuffle the cards up and we will do a 10 card spread. I'm going to do 10 cards real quick so we can get a general reading for the collective as we end up this year for 2021 as we approach 2022. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Gracias, da Santa Muerte. Sabanos a Sotos, a Mundo en la Tero. All right, so I'm going to redo these. Asesera, asesera, asesera. Gracias, da Santa Muerte. Sabanos a Sotos, a Mundo en la Tero. Gracias, da Santa Muerte. Sabanos a Sotos, a Mundo en la Tero. Okay, so we have the, off the top, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we've been uh, disappointed with money. Okay, money has uh, been a struggle. Uh, we have to be very creative with uh, overcoming the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, a tower moment. Okay, we see a tower moment here as well as the hermit mode. So this year, 2022, was all about changes. Uh, with money, disappointing money, balancing, being creative with the also with the tower card, okay, and being in hermit mode, overcoming those challenges of the tower card. <clears throat> we have the king of wands energy, uh, being uh, aggressive, uh, protective, guarding yourself. All right. Also, we have. Gracias, la Santa Muerte. All right, so we have the Three of Cups here. Okay, well, that came out reverse, but it should be like this. We have the Three of Cups here. Okay, so definitely we have some energy, uh, collaboration. Okay, working well, networking, working with the collective, working with spirit. As far as 2022, we have the uh, overcoming in 2021. The Nine of Swords, overcoming worrying obstacles, different obstacles with the Nine of Swords reversed. And this year in 2022, we're definitely going to have expansion with the Three of Wands. Okay, definitely looking, uh, taking criticism well with the Page of Wands. Also being a leader, manifesting. Uh, spirits, guys, and fallen angels, can we have uh, what's going on to the future for our upcoming year for 2022? All right, the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands, followed by the Five of Cups energy, uh, the Four of Pentacles, save your money, Six of Wands. Uh, uh, Six of Wands is like uh, uh, a confusion card, okay? Uh, disappointment, okay? Sadness, uh, loss of money, uh, save your money with the Four of Pentacles, okay? There's going to be some sad, disappointing people with the changes of 2022. Okay, we have a lot of worry with the Six of Swords as well. All right, Page of Cups energy, okay, with the Winter Solstice. And we have the Eight of Wands, okay? So everything we're learning about has been a rough year, all right? We're going to uh, still in this winter retrograde. So it's not looking, uh, it's looking rough for January, starting off in January, okay? Maybe February. But things definitely, clarification, Ace of Swords, okay? Uh, what else? Four of Cups, okay? Meditation, thought process, working 
uh, uh, raising your energy. Mm, 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 mm. But we have the Nine of Cups with satisfaction. Uh, so nine of Cups with satisfaction, okay? For one more. Justice card, okay? So big things are going to happen. There is going to be a balance. Court cases are going to come through this year for January. Uh, disputes are going to be settled with a balance in court. Disputes in court with the Seven of Wands. Okay, and you have the fortune card. So 2022 definitely will be a lot better. Ace of Wands. Uh, 2021 was a false start, a good false start, but 2022 definitely will be better. You planted seeds in 2022, uh, 2021, you, and 2019 and 2018. So now these seeds are coming together. And you have the judgment card. So things that are coming together will be more in your favor, closer towards February, February, March, mid May. Okay, you have uh, the high priest here. Okay, so you have the high priestess, the high priest, and the emperor. So the council is working with the judgment here to give you favor over your disputes, your court disputes. Okay, so 2022 definitely is gonna be a bigger year. Uh, for me and my clients as well. Okay. Dealing with uh, the Queen of Cups energy. A lot of codependent energies definitely will not be in existence in 2022 after February. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, what is this? The Eight of Pentacles. Right. So the money will be coming. Okay. It's a slow process, but definitely it will be here. We definitely we have victory with Cups with the cups, with the ten of cups, okay? So definitely this is a lot about uh, understanding emotions, overcoming obstacles, triumphs. We have the El Diablo card here as well, okay? That kind of, so you're working with both ends, the spirit of light and dark, okay? We have the queen of wands energy here, definitely using it in your intuition, trusting your psychic intuition, your abilities, standing firm on who you believe in, we have the king, the uh, the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest one here, okay? But it's definitely am coming for sure, okay? All we just got to do is uh, keep being patient, okay? Keep using our temperance, okay? And things are coming our way. Uh, things, uh, this is the hangman. So this is the temperance card. It said keep being patient. And the next part of the pull was the temperance card. So things definitely are coming our way. We just have to show some patience and protect your castle at all times with the Knight of Swords, all right? And we also have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So things are definitely coming in our favor. And I'm going to stop right there with the Four of Wands, okay? The, what is this? the Four of Wands is all about celebration, unity, okay? So overall, uh, in review, what we have learned is let me get these things together so we can go over these cards. And if it resonates to you, that's good. If it don't resonate, then it don't resonate. Some some of this may not resonate to you. It may just be my reading. How you know? It ain't just for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, you know. And if you knew a party, you'll invite everyone you knew. You will see the biggest thing. That, no, let me stop. Okay, so all of these are what happened this year. All right, so we have Ace of Swords with the clarification. We've been meditating with the Four of Cups. Okay, with the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of Wands. There have definitely been some struggle, overcoming struggle. Look at that. Over triumph, overcoming struggle and triumph. Okay, Ob uh, obstacles. Uh, disappointing disappointments with the five of hearts as well. Okay, definitely got to be saving your money in the future with the four of pentacles. Okay, you're working with the stars, the moons, the zodiac, all of it, space, everything, your awareness. Also, this is your energy level. It's like your atom with your energy level. You see that? You see, this is the, the nucleus of an atom, and then you have your layers. Okay, you have your energy, your sub layers, and your uh, uh, orbits. Okay, so this is how all of that works. Okay, uh, listen to criticism, 
Okay, take your time. Listen to wise counsel. Be a leader with the page of manifestations. Expansion is coming with the three of wands. Okay, definitely with the three of wands. It's all about expansions. Okay, we have the eight of wands as well. Learning, fast learning, overcoming, processing, thought process, putting together everything that's happening with the nine of hearts, the nine of cups. Okay, uh, victory will soon come. Uh, there was a balance with the, I'll say, so we have the nine of cups and the nine of swords. So these two definitely are balanced, okay? Learning what's going on, being patient, overcoming, being creative, manifesting, raising your energy levels, okay? We have the Three of Cups here, collaboration, okay? We also have the Four of Wands coming out on top, you know, uh, victory, all right? We have the Nine of Pentacles as well, okay? So money, prosperity, financial independence, Okay, eliminating this Queen of Cup energies with these codependence, protecting your capsule, protecting yourself with the Knight of Swords. Okay, also making them forced to surrender. Okay, surrendering. Okay, also letting go is with the hangman. We have being patient with the temperance card, prudence card, because although the money is coming, it is very slow with the Knight of Pentacles. It's the slowest card of all. With the Queen of Wands, trusting your intuition, trusting your instincts, working with both light and dark with El Diablo, okay, overcoming disappointments with uh, money, overcoming tower moments, okay, tower moments, the Five of Pentacles energy, working with the Grand Council, which is the High Priest, the Empress, and the High Priestess, all right, you have the Judgment card, working well with spirit, both sides, again, yin and the yang. We have planting seeds, working hard, planting your seeds. They will soon play off with La Plantas. All right. Also, we have the victory with the Ten of Hearts, okay, followed by the Eight of Pentacles. Eight, anytime you see the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, it's definitely hard work. We have uh, Page of Cups energy, understanding your emotions, over upcoming codependencies. Also, we have the Six of Swords, okay. The Six of Swords is all about transition. Okay, you're in the process of being in transition, overcoming false starts of 2021. Okay, this is your year with 2022 with the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Justice card, so all disputes will be settled with the Seven of Wands and the Justice card here together. Uh, and last but not least, the Hermit card. All right, so that has been the last reading of 2021 as we approach 2022 for the collective as we are in our winter retrograde or winter solstice the yuletide cheer as we approach new year's 2021 this will be the last reading for 2021 and i will see you in 2022 y'all there's that orbit again peace welcome betty white to the afterlife also, we got to say the words of my alter ego. Make sure you spray new to your pants to help keep control of the pet population. That is Bob Barker. And the words of the alter ego of my own. Make sure you stay out the mix because the better get bad. This is the Magical Magician. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Poof.